Hello family, greetings to you all and welcome back to my channel. It's your brother, Chief Lamashegu Yepal Suwulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all. How are you all doing, family? And how is our families at your side go, uh, doing? How is your day going and how is everything going on with you? Alright, so family, it's been a while since I... Uh, since I got the time or the chance to share with you the updates of uh, my plans at Queen's Guest House, the most beautiful guest house in northern Ghana, that is Tamale to be precise. So uh, in today's video, I'm just going to share with you uh, about our plans at Queen's Guest House. I'm talking about the plans that I planted at Queen's Guest House and how they are, you know, growing as well as how they are surviving so before i continue with this video family please just subscribe to the to my channel if you are new and click on the notifications bell so that you will be notified of all the videos that i post and then uh, share my contents with your families and friends and like my videos sorry today my cameraman is not there so uh, you would you would not see my face <laughs> yeah so these are the plants you can see the plants at queen's guest house the beautiful uh plants that i have here at queen's guest house so uh i know some of the names to the plants and i don't know some of the name to the plants so these plants for instance i used to know the name but i've forgotten about it the plant with the uh, purple flowers but the plant that is close to it is called lemon grass. It has some very good scent, and it also, you know, it is also used to make tea. and And I think it is also medicinal. It cures fever and malaria. And the the, the multicolored plant right here, we call it crotin. That's how we call it. That's the name I know about it. It's called crotin. It's a very nice plant, and it can grow up to six feet or seven feet tall or it can even grow more than that and whilst it grows it changes colors the, the leaves changes different colors it's very very beautiful plant i love it so much and the next plant is mother-in-law tank that is it there mother-in-law tank so the mother-in-law tank is also growing very well and it's surviving as you can see it has started to produce new ones so that is the plants for you and the next plant that has this beautiful flower i don't know the name but it's also a very nice plant so i have all of these plants here these beautiful plants here at queen's guest house that is progressing and surviving so well so this is just one flower bed you can see all of these <laughs> multicolored plants from one flower bed so I'm going to take you to the next flower base for you to see. I've really programmed, you know, I've, li I've really planned this uh, flower base for the guest house. But, um, you know, we are still, work is still going on here. So when we finish, I have a way that I'll do it so that it will not be laying down because people might step on it. So because the project is not completed, that's why I'm still, you know, hang uh, having them hang around here. So... We have so many different plants here. And this is Mr. Cactus. To those who have missed Mr. Cactus, you can see Mr. Cactus is growing so well. Mr. Cactus is growing very, very well and making a lot of progress. So uh, this particular plant, I forgot the name. Uh, usually here in our hamatan season or in the dry season, uh, when people doesn't have, uh, 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 when let me say, when people plant them at lands that is not fertile, it easily dries. And when people plant them and doesn't get enough water for them, it, it dries so much. But you know, for the fact that I have my system here and I, I have my, you know, my self-sufficient water, I don't struggle with water to, I mean, to get, I don't struggle to get water to water my plants. So, and therefore it's making my plants, you know, flourish and just look so beautiful. 
So um, I'm just going to take you through for you to see how the plants is surviving. The plants is multiplying. It's multiplying so much. And it's growing higher. It's growing so higher. But some of them has to be transplanted. Like this plant, for instance, I have to transplant it. So I'm just waiting to get a time to do that. And this is some of my uh, flower pots. So this one is just temporal. When, the, uh, when I get some more natural flower pots that I use for the sitting place at Queen's Guest House, I'm going to transplant it into the flower pots and just, you know, you, for it to make the place beautiful. So um, as you can see, you can see how the plants has grown. The plants has grown so much. Yeah, you can see how the plants is surviving. So that is the beautiful plants at Queen's Guest House. A whole lot of different, you know, colors and different beautiful uh, flowers. Yeah, and I also have this big hidden aloe vera here. I have a very big aloe vera here that is hidden in the plants. And it's, pro it's, it's progressing very well. The aloe vera is progressing very well. Yeah, it has some nice, you know, look. And this is mother in boots. This plant is, this flowers is called mother in boots. Usually it looks so beautiful in the morning because it is the mo it is in the morning that the flowers, you know, pops up. It is in the morning that it bloom flowers. And this nice plant that you see here is a medicinal plant. At the same time, it has some very good smell. And that is why I planted it closer to the window so that people, when people are here, they can enjoy the good smells of it. So it is called lantana. It is called lantana. But somewhere in the Caribbean, they call it a uh, mountain sage. And it is good for the cure of colds, fever, and malaria. And it's, it is also used to make tea. So that is it. That is lantana or mountain sage for you. So all of these plants, when I finish, the project, it will be well positioned and it will even look much more nicer than this. This is just, you know, the way it is right now is just temporal. It is just temporal and I just want them to go with the flow to grow some more because I need some more of those plants to transplant them into different uh, parts of the guest house by getting a flower pots to do that. So as you can see, the plants is growing. The plant is growing so much and it's making so much progress. And I have this plant here that is a climbing plant. So I have this beautiful plant here that you all see. This plant, I wish I knew the name of it. It's a climbing plant and I'm going to use it to decorate the, um, the metal designs to the porches at the guest house. So you see how it climbs the metals. So within you know, some mums is gonna take over all the metal, and it will just look the place looks uh, make the place look so green and nicer. So this place will be looking like somewhere in nature. It will just be you know having all these green looks and you know beautiful looks. Yeah. So like I'm explaining uh, to you for you to understand the plants here and to know the real meaning of why I planted them. So as you can see, I have plants of different kinds here. A whole lot of different types of plants here at you know Queen's Guest House. I have these beautiful plants. Um, it, it's kind of dusty because we are in the Hamatan season, and during the Hamatan season, it is so dusty here. But you know, for the fact that I clean this place all the time and make it look so neat, it doesn't get so dusty. And I have all of these plants in the flower pots, the natural clay flower pots. Yeah, so you can see how they are growing inside the flower pots. Um, somebody told me to paint it, and I said, okay, well, I have to think about it. Because sometimes I like things that is natural than things that is artificial. I mean, much more than things that is artificial. So I have all of these plants that I planted a couple of months ago. Yeah, so uh, mostly the reason why I share with you these information is because I know a whole lot of people like plants. A whole lot of people like plants and 
they always want to see the different types of plants that we have and also to take plans about how to uh, plant their crops. Uh, sorry, they are, pla they are plants, either they are flowers or whatever plants they want to have in their various uh, houses. Um, and one thing again about these plants is that when you plant, when you, when you plant a plant, and then uh, I'm talking about putting the plant, a plant into soil, it consists of two things. When you have green thumbs, the plants will be surviving like there's some magic in it. That is when you have green, green thumbs. And usually when you plant and you don't have green thumbs, thumbs, it is hard for the plant to survive. So all of this is important for you to know about plants. I have these guys, the pop ceiling guys here doing some, some amazing things, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna share it right now, sorry. I'm gonna make a video about what they are doing. I, I'm gonna surprise you with that. Okay, okay, so somewhere closer to the sitting place at Queen's Guest House, you can also see these beautiful uh, plants that is to the entryway at the sitting place, the most beautiful sitting place ever. And you know, <laughs> the, the, most, uh, the most organized and well-planned, I'm talking about well-planned sitting place uh, that, can, that is ever happened in Northern Ghana. So I have crotting here and I have these plants also here that is growing so tall. And it makes the place so beautiful and serene. So for you to see some more about the plants, I'm just inside at where the sitting place is. I'm inside the sitting place showing you all of these plants. You know, for you to have an experience about how to decorate your homes. So family, this is more of what I'm sharing today. Um, I have the mother-in-law tank which is growing so high and it's even multiplied. It multiplied times three. One, two at the middle and then three here at the side so the mother-in-law tank is multiplying so much and that's one thing i like about it when you plant it and you take good care of it it multiplies like you know there's some secret in it but one secret that i want you to know is that these plants that i'm planting uh, that these plants that i planted here to, to uh, some of them are indoor plants some of those plants are indoor plants. Yeah, so for the fact that some of them are indoor plants, they are good for indoors and outdoors. Because um, when you plant them at a position where the weather is good, it will always survive and, you know, make the place look good. So, um, and then moreover, the reason why you see these plants uh, grow like magic is because of my animals manure, my animals organic manure. I'm talking about my animals dung. So um, my animals feces, you know, or my animals dung or, or, or my animals manure makes the plants grow extra, extra, you know, big. And it makes it survive all the time. So that's one secret about the plants. So you can see them from you know the top part of the queen's guest house so i'm here you'll be surprised where i am i'm on top of the of the system that we are still yet to develop we are yet to develop this place and um, everything is coming along very nice but we're doing it step by step we don't rush to do things we just do it step by step and we come out with the most perfect plants, uh, I mean results. We come out with the most perfect results. So uh, that is it. So one day when you are on top of the cistern, enjoy yourself, you know, just sitting in the terrace on the top, you will be watching all these plants and you can even touch some of them. So that is so good. That is so good, yeah. So everything is coming along very well. I also ordered some uh, 
made in Ghana tiles for the guest rooms. So that is what uh, the brother is unloading. It is the best quality tiles that we have in Ghana that is made in, made in Ghana. And it is called Typhoid. And some call it Trifold. It is spelled as T. Okay, I'm just going to take you for you to see how it is spelled. <laughs> so it's the most beautiful tiles that is in Ghana. And as you can see, I've ordered a lot for the project. So this is how it is. So it is called uh, Typhoid Better Tiles, Better Life. <laughs> yeah. And it is made in Ghana. It is made in Ghana, as you can see. It is made in the Republic of Ghana. And their company is located at Takrade. Takrade. It is located at a district in Takrade called Shama District. Shama. Shama. To the fantasies who watches my video, you understand what I'm saying. Shama is in the, uh, is in the western region. And it's a district in Takrade. So this tiles is made in Takrade. And it is 600 by 600 mm so that is we call it 60 by 60 for short so that is the tiles uh, my brother is uh unloading you can see him he works for the company that's why he's ha having their uniform or wearing their uniform so as i always tell you the plan is still going now you can see how the first wall has come along you can see how it is we are putting down plans to just make this place an extraordinary place for guests Guests who are coming to have a good time in northern Ghana. Guests from Tamale, guests from Ghana, guests from Europe, guests from America, guests from Asia, guests from all parts of the world. You are all welcome to have a good life and to enjoy the beautiful and the you know the beautiful environment as well as the serene environment as at Queen's Guest House very soon when it's completed. You're gonna have a good time here. Yeah, so just keep waiting. Soon you come. Very soon to all of you who wanna come to this beautiful place to have a good experience in North, about Northern Ghana. And even not just Northern Ghana, about Ghana at large, you are always welcome. So family, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for taking your time to watch my videos to you know like my videos as well as comment on my videos i appreciate you all for that and i'm also glad that uh, that i also take my time to explain in my videos for you to understand what i'm doing and for you to get to learn something from my videos uh, this is something that we have to do for each other uh, it is just it is not just about the viewership but it is about the the content that we create that people can learn from and you know what we can share with people about Ghana, especially talking about building. Uh, this house that you see is not planned by anyone, by any architect. It was planned by me, and every plan that is going on here is still planned by me that I'm working on. So family, uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, till we meet again, I'm going to send a prayer to all of us. I pray that the Almighty God and the ancestors will continue to bless us with abundance of knowledge, abundance of wisdom, abundance of protection and guidance, abundance of wealth, and above all, abundance of good health and wealth. I pray that the Almighty God will grant, that, grant us more patience in life for us to overcome any kind of tribulations or any kind of problems that is bothering us in our life. Thank you so much. Go fire, come. You are escaping the, the, the video, the, uh, the camera, right? Go fire is here doing some wonderful job. Go fire, you know what? The job you are doing, I don't want to show it right now. That is uh, Master David's uh, apprentice, Go fire. They are doing some, some serious designs here with the plaster of Paris. They are doing some serious designs with the plaster of Paris, which I'm not going to share now. So, Kofi, sometime tomorrow uh, or sometime within the week, I'll, I'll try and let you explain some things based on what you are doing, and then people will get to learn and, you know, have an ideas about what you are doing. So, thank you, bro. I appreciate you all.
Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, family, thank you all for watching and thank you all for your time. Till we meet again, it's your brother, Chief Lamashewuya Palsiwulana, also known as Prince Ayoko, sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a wonderful day. I love you all. Peace.